Hey guys, what's up? It's the 120th Whisperer here with GBA for IOSkins.com. I figured since the GBA for IOSkins.com website will be going live in just a few days, um, let's actually find out exactly how long we have to wait. Uh, let's go to GBA for IOSkins.com. And boom, mobile coming soon. 10 days, 20 hours, 1 minute, and 20 seconds. Uh, just remember to follow all of us here behind the scenes, uh, at Mythical, me at uh, the 120th Lister, our friend EMU for iOS, and Operation iDroid, who made a fabulous trailer. Link will be in the description. And make sure to follow our master account at GBA for IO Skins for any behind the scenes suggestions that you can do or any influences you can have on the website creation. Um, let's get back to Photoshop. So, uh, when you want to create a skin, go to File, New. Make sure the width is 640, the height is 480. Make sure they are in pixels. Color mode, background contents, doesn't matter. Just hit OK and create that sucker. New, uh, new uh, layer. Make sure it is a rectangle. We're just going to make the uh, uh, controls here for the D-pad. And I'm going to duplicate that and translate it over at 90 degrees so it's right on the center hit apply and merge so merge the shapes and there you go you got your basic d-pad so let's uh, add a stroke to that just so we can see it um, why did I hit color overlay I meant stroke um, let's say five pixel stroke um, let's actually change that color let's make that instead of black let's make it red make it nice and bright um, so I'll basically be showing you guys how to make um, the black and white skin that I made. Um, just a black and white, but this time I'll make it black and red. So new file, swap the colors, paint bucket, black, background. Put that on the background, boom, you got your red. And because of the color I have chosen as my background for Photoshop, let me just change my interface here. Dark gray, dark gray, dark gray, and okay, there we go. Now I can see what I'm looking at. Um, wow, did not want to do that. New layer, grab the ellipse tool, hit shift to make sure the shape is always a circle because you can get an oval, you can get some weird looking ovals here. Uh, so just hit shift and it mandates that it stays the same. Uh, you can pretty much do it from any corner that you start it from. So let's say that's our A key, duplicate it, move it to over, and that's our B key. So I'll be taking the uh, copy layer style pasting it to to the two of these so we can see them uh, paste layer style there we go now we can see our a and b keys so let's use these two and copy them over so now we have our uh, individual start and select keys uh, so let's tr did not want to duplicate it let's translate it shrink it down to say 25 percent link it on both hit ok and do that for the next one. So again, translate it, link it, 25%. If I can, can I? Yes, I can, 25%. There we go. And make sure they line up. So now they line up. They look small, but they will do. And our L and R keys. Uh, let's just go with the rectangle tool. And there's your L. Translate over, and there's your R. So again, I'm just going to take the coloring for this, copy the layer style, find our two rectangles, where did they go, and paste. Oh, there they are. They're back. Okay. So now we know we have our uh, L, R, start, select, A, B, D-pad. Now we need a menu button. This can be any way you want. This can be a box. This can be a circle. doesn't matter. They're all going to be shaped in a square or rectangle design. It does not matter how you make them. Uh, there is absolutely no way to make them properly to have them show up as, say, a circle in the mapping, so it's directly a circle, you know, whatever. Uh, this is just limitations in the coding. Um, this has no meaning as to the skill level that Riley tested. The developer of GBA for iOS 2.0 is. He's an amazing coder. He's been doing this, um, as far as I know, for a quite a while now he is 
the amazing guy that he's that is making all of this possible for you to play your Game Boy Advance games on your iPhones, on your iPads, on your iPod Touches, even though you may have thrown out your Game Boy Advance, you may have thrown out your Game Boy Color, you may have thrown out all your games but still have the console and can't find the games anymore online. Whatever the case be, you can still play them online thanks to GBA for iOS and CoolROM.com getting you those saves or getting you those ROMs back. So let's label these. Uh, we just need to get a menu, so let's just say copy, translate, over, drop it in the corner. Let's say that. Link it so it's nice and sophisticated. Hit apply. So now we have our very simple, very uh, black and reddish theme. Uh, I'm just going to rasterize all the layers. Oops, uh, I did not want that to look like that. Okay, convert to smart object. I just converted the whole screen to a smart object. If I were to move it, the whole thing moves. So what you need to do, rulers, find out your distance, 16 pixels, and 93 pixels. Let's go with that. Is that 93? 92 pixels, whatever. And find the width. So if that was 16, let's say this, the width total would be 323. And the height would be 413. I will be showing you how to map entirely properly well uh, in a later video, but just as a proof of concept, this is how you make a skin. This is just the portrait at 2x version. So when you're working with uh, iPhones, uh, this would show up on the portrait for the iPhone at 2x. This would be the iPhone version for the uh, iPhone 4, 4s, 5, 5c, and 5s. These, they would all show this perfectly fine no matter what. It's when you get into landscape orientation skins that you have to worry about and when you get to iPad that you have to worry about. iPad won't be all that hard, but that'll be in the next video. Over. Hey guys, I just forgot to put this uh, one last bit in there. Um, all the video updates will be happening. I hope to get them done on a daily uh, basis to make sure you understand what's been going on, when, and how it's going to happen. Uh, each video will cover a different version or different orientation of a skin. Uh, I hope to have a an iPad skin out soon, uh, as well as an iPad landscape, iPhone landscape, iPhone 5 set landscape as well. Uh, but until then, uh, I still, I can't thank you enough for the support that you've given. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll be posting uh, constant, uh, you know, constant uh, small previews of GBA for Ioskins.com as it's being developed, as it's being updated on our Twitter account at GBA for Ioskin, uh, GBA for Ioskins. Uh, again, seriously, guys, thanks for all of your support. Uh, and don't forget to follow. Uh, me at the 120th whisper and my buddy at mythical uh, without his ideas on uh, mobile development and desktop development uh, this whole website and his support as well this whole website would not be possible uh, and you guys are just absolutely amazing in the outcry for the website and for gba for ios 2.0 uh, just make sure to thank the developer riley test it and i will keep uh, trying to produce videos on how to uh, make skins and how to upload and we'll hope and we'll hopefully be uh, uploading these websites over the course of the next week in preparation for the GBA for iOS skins website uh, which is currently set as the 25th but is tentative to change uh, and could even be postponed into uh, into uh, um, the release date of GBA for iOS, whenever that is. Uh, but, you know, just keep making skins, keep uh, submitting your skins, your skin ideas, and we'll keep this website running for you. Uh, you know, you guys have just been amazing. Thanks for all the support. I'll keep the videos coming. I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching and thanks for all the support.